At the Georgia Aquarium in Atlanta, the Captain Planet Foundation, including CNN founder Ted Turner, honored tireless leaders who worked to convince the world that preservation of Earth's resources is critical to our future. Honoree Dr. David Suzuki, a geneticist, is one of the most revered environmental leaders in Canada. At 77, protecting Earth's precious ecosystems has been his life's work. What I'm finding now as an old warrior Many of the battles that we fought in the 70s and 80s, and we thought we won, we're fighting again. And a classic example is in Brazil. In the 90, late 80s, my wife and I got very involved in fighting with the Kayapo Indians there to stop a dam that was going to be built and flood their territory. And we raised a lot of money, had big demonstrations, and we stopped that dam. But 35 years later, the Brazilian government says, we don't need a loan from the World Bank anymore. We're rich enough, we're going to build it ourselves. And now they're building the same dam that we stopped 30 years ago. So what does that mean? It means that we never learned that the struggle was just a way of finding a different relationship with the Earth. We didn't see ourselves, in other words, in a different paradigm. So many of the battles that we thought were environmental victories were simply pyrrhic. They were illusions of victory that didn't stop the destructive bent. At age 31, entrepreneur Tom Zaki hopes to follow in Suzuki's footsteps as a lifelong environmental advocate. He founded TerraCycle, a company that says it's proving to the world that all kinds of waste can be recycled into eco-friendly products. Each month, his company collects about a billion pieces of waste across 19 countries. For example, we now uh, collect and recycle cigarettes, uh, used cigarette butts, in nine countries around the world, including here in the United States. And it's really easy to do. You just go to our website, uh, send us your used cigarette butts, whether you're a business or an individual. Uh, we give you uh, free shipping and then even a small donation for every pound you collect to keep America beautiful. And then the collected cigarettes are recycled by uh, separating the organics, the ash, tobacco, and paper, uh, which is composted, and the inorganic, like the filter, is made into an injection moldable plastic. And that's how you solve cigarettes. And this idea can be extended to just about any type of waste. So we not just do it with cigarettes, but we do it with chip bags, juice pouches, even use chewing gum, uh, which we're soon launching in Canada, uh, the world's first national program to collect and recycle used chewing gum. And finally, if she looks familiar, that's Erin Brockovich, the real Erin, played by Julia Roberts in the award-winning film, which was the true story of her revelation that an electric company was poisoning the water of Hinkley, California. In the years since, she's continued to fight for livable communities and is in high demand working on contamination complaints all over the world. If I were to talk to you about one chemical, chromium-6, that was in the film Erin Brockovich, we have chromium-6 problems in Australia. We have chromium-6 problems in America, Canada, Ireland, Greece, France, Italy, South Africa. I'm talking globally. That I would have never expected. That one bad actor could reach havoc on an entire globe. This week, Brockovich unveiled a map she's been creating to identify cancer clusters in the United States. It's called communityhealthbook.com and she's received 7,000 inquiries in the U.S. alone. To see this map and to see these people now coming forward helps me really realize that something's gone wrong. Um, I don't think we can sit and blame it on a system or companies or anything else. I think that something's gone wrong, and if we can see it, we'll be able to fix it. But I had no idea that there was 100,000 Hinkleys out there. I shouldn't be laughing, it's not funny, but it's a little overwhelming for me. And I'm just trying the best I can to do what's responsible and right by all the information that I'm getting. Natalie Allen, CNN, Atlanta.